Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. With the internet becoming a modern day necessity, there's an increasing effort to reduce the grip of regulatory agencies and monopolistic tech heavyweights. Many internet users are becoming wary of firms that may follow and sell their most sensitive private information. These difficulties have paved the way for a novel idea, a decentralized version of the internet built on open source blockchain networks. Several projects are attempting to replace critical components of internet infrastructure with decentralized peer-to-peer -peer systems that don't rely on a single intermediary or point of failure. In today's video, we'll look at the problems that come with a centralized internet. We'll also look at whether a decentralization can revolutionize the internet and also some of the obstacles that are still in the way. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by saying so in the comment section down below. Now let's jump into it. So let's start by looking at the problems of a centralized internet. The internet has democratized access to knowledge in unprecedented ways. And as we link a growing number of people to the internet, we like to think about a globalized digital society where everyone is free. But there's another side to this digital utopia. One that suggests that the internet is silently becoming a new type of prison. One where our lives are spied on and our personal choices are impacted in ways that we're not even aware of. Tech giants like Google and Amazon, as well as social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter, understand that the internet has transformed personal information into the most valuable commodity. Some people are starting to believe that this power shouldn't be allowed in the hands of a few firms and are experimenting with new technologies to provide an alternative. The most prominent platforms on the internet, from browsers to websites, collect personal data from their users, ranging from who they are to what they do. Everything you do online is recorded and can be used to create money for companies. Of course, gathering and analyzing data isn't always a terrible thing. For example, behavioral data on the internet can assist businesses in developing more tailored content, which a lot of people really do value. The majority of internet services provide data protection through privacy agreements. However, things get complicated when this wealth of information known as big data is held by only a few firms. Companies can subtly control people's online experiences, for example, by tracking their browsing behavior. Have you ever wondered why certain advertisements tend to follow you around on almost every website you visit? Or have you ever wondered when your data is being used to try and sway your political opinions? The consequences can be pretty scary. According to a growing number of entrepreneurs fed up with this type of soft control, the solution is to decentralize the internet, which was the whole premise of the World Wide Web in the first place. So can a decentralization revolutionize the internet? A decentralized internet could be a method to break free from the grip of tech giants to have control over our data. One way is to use blockchain, a technology that underpins cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Blockchain, which is basically a distributed digital log of transactions, demonstrates how to deal with the style of data and information sharing that's not controlled by one or even a few big entities. Instead, information is stored on a global network of computers linked by cryptographic validation. So to put it in simple words, this decentralized and distributed framework for information sharing is very safe and allows for better privacy. Several open source services are already in the works to make this a reality. These are known as decentralized applications or dApps. Each record on these dApps is recorded on a public and decentralized blockchain. The Blockstack browser, for example, builds itself as the new internet for decentralized apps. Blockstack enables users to access dApps that provide services similar to most cloud-based apps available on the ordinary internet. Other firms like Andrina aim to replace centralized routing networks with peer-to-peer -peer mesh networks. A decentralized internet could also provide significant cost savings. But of course, this is also subject to market forces. Anyone with an internet connection would supply essential cloud services instead of relying on an internet service provider. Of course, these dApps are still in their early stages, and systems like Blockstack are far from flawless. But a decentralized internet may soon be more than just a niche for ultra-privacy conscious individuals. Now let's have a look at some of the obstacles of a blockchain-based internet. Even though the idea of a blockchain-based internet does appear viable, there are several obvious obstacles. Like with other blockchain projects, one of the most difficult challenges will be recruiting a critical mass of users so that the platform can benefit from network effects. Secondly, misuse owing to anonymity is a massive issue in the blockchain sector. 
including using cryptocurrencies for criminal reasons like the sale of illegal substances or weapons. Given that data privacy is an important goal of the decentralized internet, it's unclear how a system like this would keep users from engaging in criminal conduct. And finally, blockchain networks rely on participants to operate the software that keeps the system working. Participants may quit contributing computing resources if the monetary rewards for participation are not attractive enough to stimulate these contributions. Remember, to make the decentralized blockchain-based internet sustainable, a delicate balance will be required. While the idea of a decentralized blockchain-based internet is gaining popularity, a realistic implementation will necessitate a pragmatic and balanced strategy throughout the whole ecosystem. Even from the most optimistic viewpoint, numerous obstacles must be overcome before such a system can be made available to most internet users. The idea is still evolving. So there we have it. Do you think that blockchain is the internet of tomorrow? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.